Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to perform any of the motion capture just by using your camera and MP4, any of the video MP4, and apply on any of the 3D avatar in your Autodesk Maya. So now just have a look. You can see in my Autodesk Maya, I have an avatar who is already fully rigged already have a skeleton it, and this is a skeleton mesh and how am I going to use any of the video or camera to perform the motion capture for this avatar so start from now I'm going to show you step by step first you can just scroll down go to my video descriptions you should be able to see the whole workflow summary in this video I'm going to choose to have a live demo now, first you have to download the, tree, the 3D post tracker. You can either download from the official site or you can download from my alternative download link. Once you already download it, it is a zip file and you extract it, you will get the folder. This is the folder. Once you open it, you should be able to see the 3D post tracker. Just double click and open it. Right next, this 3D post tracker is the motion capture software where it can allow you to use your camera, your webcam to, to capture the body motion, which is powered by artificial intelligence, what we call AI. And you also can use the movie file as well. And on my desktop, you can see I have a Tai Chi video. Now, as demo, I will just use this video to perform the motion capture on this video and later we are going to apply the motion to the Autodesk Maya for this avatar. So now, what am I going to do is just click load movie from my desktop. I double click the Tai Chi video already. And you can see now the video is playing and it is not yet start to play the martial arts. Once it is ready, I'm going to click record BBH. So now wait for a while until it is ready. Now it is going to detect any motions. So now we can ignore first and wait for a few seconds. Now start already. I click record the BBH and now it is start recording. So I let it to record for a few seconds and later once I want to stop it I have to click stop recording here I have to click this red button so now I let it to run just a few seconds more you can see the AI will automatic trap and just follow whatever display inside the video and it is powered by AI, it is going to record the mocap, record the motion capture just from the video. Right, now if I want to stop it, I will just click again the recording. Now it is going to stop and I will save it as BVH file. So as demo, I will save on my desktop as Tai Chi. Zero 01 as the file name I click save and now you can see it's save as a bbh file now I can close this already I close it all right once you already get the bbh file next you have to go and download an iAvatar this is a 3d post tracker dot iAvatar just follow step by step download from my Google Drive and you, you must have this software we name it as the Icon 7 the 3D Exchange Pipeline so now you open your 3D Exchange Pipeline and then once you already downloaded the 3D post tracker.iavatar it 
this set here drag in through the icon 3d exchange 7 and next you drag here down you should be able to see the motion library the bvh file you drag into the motion library and choose current character click convert next click add all to perform and then click export you have to untick export geometry and only tick export the animations export the rl motions and as demo i will export it on my desktop i click ok and click ok it will export it as an rl motions this is another animation file that i already converted to rl motions all right next what we are going to do is in your 3d exchange 7 you just click file start a new one to make sure it clear everything and in your autodesk maya you can see the asian girl is here this is a skeleton mesh it already fully rigged already have the bones and skeletons what you are going to do is just export it export as fbx file you click export all as demo i'm going to ex export on my desktop the file types you must export it as the fbx file the fbx is here and then the file name i will just name it as asian girl 01 from maya i click export all export all so now this is an fbx file next open your 3d exchange 7 you drag in and then click ok now you are going to import it and next up drag here down you should be able to see convert to non-standard convert to non-standard and at, at this moment you have to map the skeletons map it properly click here this is the head next is the neck you start from the bottom just to map this and up and then you are going to map map the arm the forearm and also the hand next you are going to map the finger as well click here map the finger one by one after the thumb you map the index finger the middle finger you have to map it one by one and you left two fingers now is the last finger just to map it properly all right next it's the right hand the right arm you map the right arm The right hand, the thumb, the middle finger, now you left two fingers, and this is the last finger you have to map it all right once done already next you are going to map the spinal the first one is the hip bones the spine and then you have to map these two and you can ignore the shoulder bone this is not important next map the tights
then map the leg and, and finally you map the foot all right once you're done already you take active and click convert and then as backup you can just export it to export the geometry as demo i will just export it on my desktop it will export it as i avatar Export it as iClone Avatar as backup here. Now it is exporting. Just wait for a while until it finishes exported. This is the Asian Girl 01.i Avatar. Next. You have to open your iClone 7 3D animation pipeline to get this software. You can click into this link to get it. Open the, the iClone 7 3D animation pipeline. Drag in the Asian Girl Jor1.i avatar. Drag in. And next, you can see if you want to correct the eyes texture, you can just correct it here. If you want, that is the high poly. I right click copy, right click paste. Now the eyes already get fixed. Next, apply the eye the eye motions or what we call the RL motion it is here the Tai Chi one RL motion just now drag and apply on this avatar and now you can just have a check this is exactly the Tai Chi motion just now all right next you have to click here to check the full timeline you scroll down you should be able to see that the number of frames is not enough. You check from here. This is the Icon 3D Exchange 7. You scroll down, find the motion library, drag in the RL motion just now to check. The total length is, is more than 3000. It's totally 3205. So in your iClone 7, the total frames, you go to the project, click the project, check the total frame, you should follow this. 3205, here, 3205, this is the total frame. And then the range, you have to make it big in this way. In your timeline, you have to choose the fit to window. Now, you can see in any any timeline here, it is the full speed 30 FPS. Of course, you can change the speed just by right click, set the speed. You can make it faster. Let's say you can make it become 400. Then it will become four times faster and shorter the motion time. Just play it. You can see now. The motion already become much faster, four times faster than the original. All right, next. Of course, you can make it slower as well. You just right click, set the speed as 50% or let's say 30%, you apply it. Once you play it, you will see that it is really very slow. So, of course, I will just use the 100%. I right click, set the speed back to 100%. That is the best. 3205, I apply on the total frame. The last frame is 3205. So, this is the whole animation. So, once you're done already, you want to import back to Maya. You have the motions. Of course, this avatar, you can just move it away from here. Later, in your iClone 7, you have to export it out. The iClone 7 software is the animation pipeline, a 3D animation pipeline software. You can just click File, Export, the FBX, the Target Tool preset, you choose Maya. And then the range, you have to select all, all the range, or you just use this range from frame 1 to 3205. 
embed the texture, and then click export. As demo, I will just export on my desktop and I will just name her as Asian Girl 01 with Tai Chi. Alright, this is the FBX file. I click save. And now it is exporting as FBX file with motions. That is for your Autodesk Maya. And where is it now? Asian Girl 01 with Tai Chi. My desktop, I should sort by the date modified so that the latest ones will be at the last. Alright, the Asian Girl 01 with Tai Chi. Now back to the Autodesk Maya. You drag in this one, drag in. Wait, I start a new file, a new scene, I don't save it. And then this is the Autodesk Maya. I drag in Asian Girl 01 with Tai Chi. I drag in and wait for a while. Now it is loading. You can see. All right, I turn on the texture. Now even the eyes also already, already get fixed. And now if you play. You can see this is a wrong speed and wrong number of frames. What you are going to set is that here, you check. This is a 3D exchange. The total length is 3205. So here, this one 3205. And here also 3205. Now you play. The speed also still wrong. So you are going to set as the FPS. And here, if you set 30 FPS, it is double the speed. Right, if you set 60 FPS, it will be exactly, exactly the speed, the Tai Chi speed there. If you want to make it slow, make it fast, you change the FPS here. Right, now you can see in your Maya, this Tai Chi animation already in your in your Autodesk Maya. Alright. That's all for today about how to perform the free motion capture just by using your camera or just by using a video MP4 and apply on edit any 3D avatar in your Autodesk Maya to create any of the 3D animations in Maya. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you love my video tutorial, if you feel all these tutorials are very helpful to your 3D animation and game developing, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time I publish a new video tutorial, you receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy, happy animation and game developing. See you.